I'm going to briefly describe an interactive simulation that allows you to better understand the effect of density changes in plug flow reactors. And so the idea is if we have a gas phase reaction, and we'll just look at isothermal reactor in this example, we have a gas phase reaction where there's a mole change due to you know, one mole, for example, react into two moles. Therefore, there's a volumetric flow rate change. Or the other way of looking at it, there's a, de a mass density change. And so that affects the reactor design, affects the size of the reactor for a certain conversion. If gas is speeding up as it moves through the reactor, it has less time to react. Or the other way of looking at it, if we dilute the gas and lower its concentration because we have more moles, and the reaction rate depends on concentration, the reaction rate is going to decrease. So this simulation allows you to compare where we take density changes into account, the correct way to solve the problem if you like, or if we ignore them, how much difference does it make? So on the left, I'm showing for the same conversion, the difference in reactor size. So the same conversion, 49% conversion, if we ignore density change, we calculate we need a reactor volume slightly less than 20 liters. If we take density change into account for the conditions chosen here, we need a volume of 50 liters. And so what the simulation allows us to do is change the inlet concentration, the inlet flow rate, the temperature of the reaction, and then we can adjust the volumes of each of the reactors. In this case, I adjusted the volumes to give me the same conversion. On the right side, I compared at the same volume how much difference there is in conversion. 50% conversion if we take an account density change, 73% if we ignore it. So now let's go and look at this simulation. The simulation is available online and the Blue text indicates the location where you can go and on your own try and use this simulation. So here's the simulation on the Wolfram site. And we can change, for example, the inlet concentration. And then that affects the reaction rate because we're looking at a second order reaction. And we're looking at a reaction where one mole of reactant goes to three moles of product. So we're looking at if you like an extreme case in order to get an idea of how important it is. So clearly at this extreme case, ignoring density changes is not a good idea for obtaining an accurate measure. And so, for example, of how big the reactor is, as we make the reactor, reactor volume bigger and about the same conversion, the difference between the two gets even bigger. So let's go to the extreme here, and now approximately same conversion. We're looking at about 30 versus 100 in terms of volume. If I want to have the same volume, then this shows the difference in conversion between the two reactors at about the same volume. Gives us some idea of how important it is to take the density changes into account when we're dealing with gas phase reactions plug flow reactors where there's a mold change. Now, if there's a temperature change, there's also a density change, and that's going to show the same type of effects, though less dramatic than what we see here.